I'm Corey Weatherton. I'm Director of Product Development here at Jayco Motorhomes. We've got something special for you today. This is the 2024 Jayco Precept, and the floor plan we're going to be looking at is the 36C. Now, I want to tell you the, the Jayco Precept comes in lengths anywhere from uh, approximately 32 feet 11 inches to 38 feet 10 inches. And so what we're going to be looking at today is not for the faint of heart. It is the 38 foot 10 inch motorhome 36C floor plan. So what is a Jayco Precept? I want to point out some few things that make us unique compared to our competitors, but then also just give you some highlights of this coach. First of all, this is built on the Ford F53 chassis. So this has the 7.3 liter V8 uh, engine in it. Ford made that change about two and a half years ago. It's a great engine. It has a little bit more horsepower and a little bit more torque than what the old V10 did. Also, it burns cleaner to meet the California admission standards. Uh, so that is, first of all, the drivetrain. Second of all, what I want to point out is that this is on a 24,000 pound chassis. I always talk about the chassis size when we're talking about gas class A, simply because not all chassis are made alike. When I say 24,000 pound chassis, some of you may scratch your head and say, what's this guy talking about? Um, what might be more familiar to you, say like a Ford F-150, or an F-350. We understand that concept a little bit more. F-150 drives like almost like an SUV, very comfortable ride. We sit in a 350, take it for a, a drive, and it feels like I'm sitting on a ton of bricks and it doesn't have much suspension movement and it's not really a comfortable ride. If I put the 750 pounds in both beds of the trucks, that 150 starts to loosen up a little bit and I start to get a little bit of sway because it's really designed as, as more of a, a passenger vehicle, not for your heavy duty carrying. But that 350, I put some weight in the bed of that and the suspension loosens up and rides like that 150 used to prior to having weight in the bed. I always talk about chassis sizes on our precepts specifically because not all competitors are building on the size of chassis we build on. The 31UL precept, which is that short guy that I mentioned, is on the 22,000 pound chassis. All of our motorhomes for the precepts are on the 22 or 24,000 pound chassis. Uh, that's more like your F250, 350. Why do we do that? Because there's a lot of weight sitting on uh, this chassis. And we want it, that suspension, the heavy duty chassis suspension to loosen up a little bit and, and really drive like that 150 uh, used to before we put weight in the bed of that. So our goal is to give you a great drive and a great experience on this coach because if we don't, quite frankly, this will stay in your driveway and you're going to be going out to Yosemite in California for your next family vacation. You'll be staying at a VRBO or potentially a Holiday Inn. We want you to use this as much as possible. So we're always building on the appropriately sized chassis. Now Ford, on their 20 and a half thousand pound chassis, they will option these monster wheels on it to give you the appearance of a 22 or a 24. I just want to assure you we're always on a 22 or 24 to match the weight of this coach. So I uh, needed to point that out to you. This does come standard with the aluminum wheels on it. Uh, we option those, we do put those on, and uh, gives you a beautiful finish to the beautiful exterior of this coach. Um, as we come back down this coach, you will see we have a two plus three warranty. You know, the industry standard by every major manufacturer is just a one year limited warranty. At Jayco, we extend that another year just to give you a peace of mind. As, as I mentioned, we want you to use this thing. We want you to keep it and love it and enjoy it for a long time. So our engineers are going to extra lengths, in my opinion, uh, to engineer this in such a way that we can give you a two year warranty just to give you a confidence in our build quality. Plus three, that's a structural warranty. Uh, that simply is, is uh, your walls, your roof, your floor. So we give you that for a peace of mind as well. But really the big number to look at is this two-year limited. As you're shopping us and maybe other brands, make sure you ask, hey, what sort of warranty does this have? They may try to wow you with a large number on a structural or a large number on the, the lamination process. Uh, but really, this is the key thing. This is where your money is wrapped up at, and, and you have the potential to lose a lot of money, uh, potentially with our competitors. So that two-year warranty is a big deal. Now, as I mentioned, this coach is long. It's 38 feet, uh, 10 inches, and so we have just a ton of storage as we go down this coach, and we'll show you here in a moment what that looks like. Uh, but then also, exterior of this coach, what do we wanna point out? We kinda give some good prompts. 
we give you a catalytic converter theft deterrent on all of our gas motorhomes. Doesn't matter if it's a Class C or a Class A, we want you to be safe, and that includes your property as well. So on this coach, uh, we do have a welded cage around the catalytic converter uh, just to help deter would-be thieves from stealing your catalytic converter and making this sound like a stock car. Uh, we do that to protect our dealers and to protect you as well. On this coach as well, to give you that quietest riding, best handling feel, uh, we give you a J-Ride Plus package. Uh, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that in this video because we cover it in depth on our website. So go to our website, look at the J-Ride Plus, but just briefly in a nutshell, what is it? It is us adding things to this coach to give you that great drive and ride and handling. For instance, Coney shocks, the FSD shocks. Uh, those are uh, great shocks because they give you both comfort and stability. We give you a, a Bilstein steering stabilizer uh, to get rid of some of that play in your steering wheel so that as you're driving a 300 mile day, you don't have a lot of fatigue in your arms and and uh, make it so that you don't want to drive this coach. So uh, go to the, our website to check out the rest of those components on this. As we come back, you will notice an awning uh, that is the full length of this slide. And right above it, we do have a slide topper. We want to make sure that as you're at your destination, that you have plenty of room for your cookout, for your camp chairs, for your picnic tables. And so give you a full length uh, awning on this slide. This is a carefree uh, awning and it does have an LED integrated light into it. You're going to notice that for model year 24, we did change our windows. Uh, these are square windows. Uh, aesthetically, we think they look better from the outside. But when we go inside, I guarantee you're going to think they look aesthetically tons better than old school uh, RV windows once we get on the inside. It feels very residential by looking at them. One of the things you may or may not be able to see on the interior, uh, excuse me, on the exterior of the shades that are integrated into this window, uh, they are coated with with uh, what appears to be like an aluminum film, uh, just to deflect the heat from the sun uh, during the day so that we're keeping the inside of the coach cooler. On the roof of this coach, this is a full fiberglass roof. We also have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump in the front. And in the rear of the coach, we have a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. This coach does have a 5,500 watt Onan generator on it. So that's going to be enough to be able to power your whole coach. It is plumbed. Your fuel source is your chassis fuel tank. This is an 80 gallon fuel tank. So you'll be able to run on that for a long time. 200 watts of solar on the roof, as well as a WineGuard 2.0 Connect on the roof for your 4G LTE hotspot. If you choose to use it in such a way, that does require a subscription or also as a Wi-Fi range extender to grab that campground uh, weak Wi-Fi signal and just intensify it. And so you have a hotspot inside that you're able to stream on all of your smart TVs inside of the coach, anything you'd like to stream. As we come back to coach, you will notice that we do have an exterior entertainment center. Uh, this does have a, a radio in it that it does have um, your Bluetooth connect and then also I can hook up through a USB cable with an insignia television and then two exterior speakers that are at camp height. Uh, so as I'm sitting out here on potentially a Saturday, folks, we're in Elkhart uh, County, Indiana. Uh, so on a Saturday, we watch Notre Dame around here. So we're watching Notre Dame football. Some years we enjoy watching it, other years we struggle watching it. Uh, but we can watch the Saturday game out here, or maybe you're in NASCAR, fill in the blank with what you like uh, for your tailgating purposes or just your general campground experience. We give you this exterior television. Uh, I have to tell you, some of you may not enjoy this exterior television. You may say, I'm going camping. Why the heck would Jayco install an exterior television? We started doing this in approximately 2017 or so, maybe 16. And I have to tell you, when I would work RV shows, there'd be so many disgruntled, uh, maybe would-be buyers, or maybe it's just the negative Nellies, uh, just appalled that we didn't have exterior televisions when other folks did. I have to tell you, we're giving you that here, but you don't have to use it. Nothing to get upset about. If you don't like this TV, put it for sale on Craigslist, on eBay, make some extra money. But for those of you who want it, we give you this entertainment center. So just wanted to point that out. Don't get upset about this, but you can get excited because it is a money maker, or you can actually watch television with it. As we come back to coach, you're going to notice uh, that uh, the aluminum wheels are carrying through to the rear. And then also, as I mentioned, the massive amounts of storage. So let me quick and open these up for you uh, because, like I said, almost a 39 foot long coach, the storage is endless on this guy. So we got two nice little storage areas. When I'm at shows, I put my briefcase in there. Don't steal it if you come to a show and see me there. Um, but that, you will find that there. As we keep coming, 
We've got all Rotocast compartments. And what's unique about Jayco is that we always have at least one pass through over the frame rails. And so you will have a place to put your four foot um, uh, folding table, your white folding table, fishing poles, anything of that nature. So a lot of storage on this coach. And then your passenger side pretty much replicates this. I didn't open up this door. This is essentially our LP tank and battery storage that you'll see. On the opposite side, we are taking up one cargo gate, car cargo bay with uh, the generator as well. Uh, as we get back uh, to this general area, it is a prompt to say this has a 10 gallon gas electric hot water heater. Uh, so we are using the tried and true hot water heater. Why are we using a tanked water heater? Because this technology has been around a long time. It's foolproof. We have dabbled with other manufacturers that do on demand. Uh, quite honestly, we could not get an on-demand that we were satisfied with. Sometimes there was scalding, sometimes there was cold water, uh, if somebody else uses water elsewhere. So this 10-gallon uh, tanked hot water heater, we love it from the standpoint of it is uh, LP or it is electric. And so I can use both functions at the same time, both your LP and your electric, and it becomes rapid recovery. So you uh, replenish itself about three times in an hour. So you can have approximately 30 gallons of hot water in an hour while camping. And let me tell you, if you're camping, that is excessive. So you won't be needing that. This gives you more than what you need. As we wrap around to the back of the coach, you will see a full fiberglass rear cap as well as your backup camera tucked into the overhead brow of this rear cap. This does have side cameras as well. So when I turn on my turn signal, as I mentioned, I'm about 39 feet from the nose of the coach back to here. It's a lot of blind spot. Uh, don't worry because you will have your side view cameras to illuminate that blind spot to see if there's anything there. Uh, so absolutely incredible sight lines. You will notice that we do have a third brake light. Uh, we do that for safety purposes just simply because if you are uh, towing a vehicle or you're towing a trailer, uh, potentially your side uh, markers will be obscured. So we want to give you that third brake light for added safety as well as a ladder to access anything on the roof you need. We do recommend checking your seals on a regular basis overhead, whether it's around your skylight, uh, your AC, etc., just to make sure that there's no water infiltration. Our goal is to build a coach for you that's going to last a lifetime or as long as you want it to. If you're one of those who likes to continually upgrade, maybe you're going to move from a, a precept up to our precept prestige. Uh, we're going to build a coach that you're going to have an incredible resale value on. When you go to your local dealership and sit down and, and potentially do a retail order out unit, you'll notice that we have very few options on all of our motorhomes. And that's on purpose because when it comes time for you to sell the coach or trade the coach in, uh, your dealership, or if you get online, it will only give you the base price of the coach. The value of a used unit is not determined by how much you optioned that thing up, but more so on your base value. So we want to give you everything pretty much as standard in your base value so that you can have a confidence. And when it comes time for you to sell it, or trade it in and upgrade uh, that you will have a six to 8% higher resale value with the Jayco brand. So this has been the exterior of the coach. Let's go inside and check out the inside. So we are inside the 36C Precept and there is a lot of living space in here. But before we talk about that, I do wanna talk about just the front end of this coach. What makes the front end unique? At Jayco, we are unique in the fact of we have the largest windshield in the industry. It sounds like a trivial thing, but let me tell you, it makes a world of difference when you're driving this coach for a couple of reasons. One, I can be sitting back here in the power theater seat and I, somebody in the front shouts, hey, there's the Rocky Mountains. I can just look out and I have an HD view in front of me. So the view from that massive windshield is incredible. But what I think is a little bit more important is the fact that it's just a safety issue. We give you the largest windshield in the industry. It's 120 inches diagonally. So we've reduced a lot of blind spots. Our A pillar on the side where the windshield connects to the side of the coach has been moved back. Uh, our windshield goes lower than all of our competitors. And why do we do that? Because we know you'll be using this at an RV park where there's kids playing, uh, kids kicking balls across the road or darting across the road. We want you to be able to see everything or you're potentially maneuvering this guy into a gas station and you need to see those those yellow concrete pillars right beside the gas pump so that you're not uh, hitting it as you pull in. It's a safety thing. So we give you the largest windshield in the industry on this F53 chassis. Remember, 24,000 pound chassis on this coach that we're standing in. In the front of this, you will see um, an incredible cockpit area that is 
highlighted by the Sony Infotainment Center. That does have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Great thing about a gas class A is that these both of these seats will swivel and become part of your living area. Why is that significant? Because they also do it on our class C's. Uh, what does this matter? Simply because in a gas A, our overhead bunk is higher. I can spin these around and truly feel like I'm a part of the conversation versus feeling like I'm in a little cave shoved up front. And so that's a highlight of a gas A. I can have the same length of a gas A compared to a class C. And it just feels larger because these really are viable seats to use in a conversational format. Also, one of the things that's special about our coaches is our overhead bunks are rated at 750 pounds. Really, that's one of the things as I talked about outside with our two-year warranty about engineering. Industry standard on front overhead bunks is about 450 pounds. Ours are 750 pounds. Will 750 ever be up there? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. At the same time, we want to make sure that these are engineered strong enough for a lifetime of use. This overhead bunk, super simple to use. Uh, I simply turn the key to the on position. I push the down button, and then this will come down to approximately a um, little bit above hip height for me. I'm six foot two, so you'll be able to judge that accordingly. And then we have a ladder that's affixed to here, and then also a front and rear bumper on this that I can install so that if I'm sleeping up there, and I don't have to freak out in the middle of the night that uh, I'm gonna roll off the bed in either direction. So safety first with us, this is a Euro loft system. So there are wood slides underneath. Some of our competitors are simply using a sheet of OSB or plywood. Uh, it's kind of a, a rough sleep for you, but with those Euroloft slats, it does provide a lot of spring for you. So it's a very comfortable sleeping position up front. We do have USB and uh, on both sides of driver passenger, as well as 120 volt outlets up in the cab of the coach as well. Uh, moving back into this main area, this is optioned with our modern farmhouse interior. It is interesting. We started this approximately four or five years ago. So many manufacturers since then, we were the pioneers of it, have went to more of a white or an off-white interior, just simply because it brightens up the inside of this coach. And so um, modern farmhouse interior cabinetry, uh, you can recognize that we do have a seat belt in every seating position. That's unique with Jayco. As we mentioned, a lot of things we do are uh, regarding safety. And so that front windshield, even that Bilstein steering stabilizer, seat belts in every seating position, uh, nobody else does all of those things, or they may give you seat belts. You have to pay extra and option those in uh, simply because it does cost extra money to add those. So in this coach, I can seat belt two, four, six, eight, ten people. Folks, this is a party coach if you want it to be, or for it's, if it's if it's just a couple or a single individual. This is a mansion. It is a large space for you, so you can entertain a lot of folks and sleep a lot of folks in this. This coach in the dinette area, I am able to lower my dinette. Uh, we use a unique mechanism. We have a company right across the road from us manufacture this. A lot of you will know that some of our competitors will use a certain type of dinette that there's a lever underneath. I move the lever and then it goes down. I bring it back up, put the lever back. The problem with those is with time that gets out of adjustment. I put my elbows on it and it drops down an inch or two. With this, it's a very simple mechanism. Um, it pivots down and with these cushions out of the way, it takes the tension out of the strut. And then, um, like I said, easy back up. And then I just lock that uh, dinette into place and it's set there. You will notice a television uh, televator that sits atop a solid surface uh, countertop throughout the kitchen. And uh, this coach does have an inverter on it. Um, you can look at the specs online on uh, standards and options. To, to look at all the specs on this coach, including tank sizes within floor plans. Uh, but then we have, uh, within this coach, we do have power theater seats. I love the power theater seats. At the end of the day, I don't wanna really pull on a manual rip cord to get them to open up, but all of our precepts come standard with the power theater seats. As we wrap around to the rear of the coach or maybe mid section of the coach, you will notice a fireplace uh, with uh, an overhead uh, hutch area there. I hate it when those aren't turned on, so I had to turn it on. It's really a pet peeve of mine. I don't know why, um, but I'm the guy who leaves all the lights on at home as well, so you can get frustrated at me for that. Uh, but within this overhead hutch, uh, I can put games up here. I can put blankets up here, really anything I want. You use your imagination on that. And then I love the fireplace. You know, sometimes we'll get some kickback on the fireplace as far as why would I put it there, simply because I'm limited on my viewing. Um, but then I would challenge the customer, where else would we put it in this specific floor plan? Having a fireplace there is nice because it does give you ambiance. If all the lights are off, I can have it so just the flames flicker 
or even I can use it as a functional fireplace to where I can turn the heat on low or high inside of this fireplace and it will provide warmth to the coach through electricity. Same with my front overhead AC, as I mentioned, there's a heat pump in that. So on those chilly uh, fall days, I can use the electric heat pump inside of my AC. I can use that um, not just for the lights, but for the auxiliary heat that is uh, thermostatically controlled. And I can provide heat inside of this without having to use the LP on my coach for my furnace. So we love it there. Uh, another question we get is, hey, uh, with it so close to this arm here, uh, how does that work? I can tell you that as we install that, we are looking at the, um, at the uh, I want to say offsets, that might be the right word, but the specs on this fireplace as far as how close can we be to different um, uh, materials. And so this is within code. So safety first at Jayco, as I mentioned. Uh, but that is a nice feature to give you the ambiance, but then also the auxiliary heat. Moving back, um, you will see that we do have uh, solid surface sink covers, as well as a three burner cooktop, and then also an RV oven and a large residential size microwave. So plenty of cooking space inside of this. As we come back over uh, to my other side, you're gonna notice that the storage just continues in this almost 39 foot coach. A lot of storage. Uh, this coach is powered by the Firefly Multiplex system. Great thing about this is I can download an app to my phone. So if I'm sitting out at the campfire and it's starting to get cool inside, I can turn on my furnace and uh, heat up the inside of the coach so that when I come inside, it's nice and cozy. Control my slide outs, control my uh, awnings. I can control everything on the coach through this, everything other than the chassis. I can't drive the chassis through this or start the chassis up through that. Bathroom, this is a bath and a half floor plan, which for us, we absolutely love um, because this can be the, the guest bathroom. This can also be uh, just the, the everyday in and out uh, bathroom. This can be the his bathroom if it's a his and hers coach, because back in there, there's a lot more storage uh, counter space. Uh, but this can be the his bathroom. Um, as I mentioned, it, turn, turn and look at the interior of these windows. As I said, this is a very residential feel. No longer do we have to mess around with valances and roller shades. Great thing about these windows is they do have integrated uh, nighttime blinds, but then also from the bottom, I have my daytime shades. And then I can separate this, and there I have it. These windows also open up. So the old crank out style of the frameless windows, I could only open it about three to four inches. These, I have a full eight to nine inches of window opening. So a lot more ventilation with all of these windows in this coach. And we absolutely love the interior look of these square windows simply because everything's integrated and does give it kind of a homey feel that you're not gonna get in a traditional motorhome. This floor plan, we do option a washer dryer stackable in, in this half bath. You will lose uh, your storage cabinets in this half bath. So you're gonna have to wrestle through, is washer dryer important to me or am I okay using a laundromat or waiting till I get home if I want that storage in that. So um, this is a floor plan where we do option that. Uh, 21 cubic foot residential reefer comes standard in this. We have ice and water in the door, a very large refrigerator. This is as large as what a lot of you have at home. Um, some of you may have a little bit larger, but that's a rarity. This is really the standard for at home residential size refrigerator. You have your refrigerator on one side, your freezer on the other side. Uh, we have a pocket door to the bathroom coming back. We have a pocket door to the bedroom to give me the privacy that I want. But as you look inside of, of this bedroom, it is a very large bedroom. The nightstands do have wireless charging ports on them. But then also, if I have an older phone that doesn't have wireless charging, or maybe I want to charge a tablet, uh, we do have USB ports on the side of these. Uh, full bank of overhead cabinets as we flip to this side. Two wardrobes. Uh, that is a lot of storage really for camping. Um, this is a longer trip coach for a lot of you. So we're giving you the wardrobes with your full bank of drawers down below. And then also your bedroom television. Your bedroom television does have a uh, secret cabinet behind it. Is it secret? No, everybody does that. But I like to say it's secret in my own mind. I like to dream up these scenarios like I'm hiding stuff back there like gold bullion or who knows what. And nobody knows it's there but me and everybody in the world who's watching this video. Uh, but we do add this storage area. We're not having wasted space inside of this coach. If you want to go back and check out the bathroom, you're going to notice that back in the bathroom that there is a ton of storage in there. Uh, so 
What is the number one complaint in motorhomes? Storage, storage, storage. And a lot of times it's bathroom storage. So we are giving you a large storage area in the bathroom, a comfortably positioned porcelain toilet, and then a very large shower with very large medicine cabinet. And so we believe wholeheartedly that this has filled a niche for us here at Jayco. We came out with this floor plan, I think in, in model year 2023, maybe 2022. So give me a little bit of grace there. Uh, but since we started building this bath and a half, a lot of folks have loved it just for the versatility of the length of the half bath where I can have my washer dryer and then also just the full uh, master suite bathroom in the rear. Um, we love this coach. We think it's done quite well for us and we think you will as well. So I encourage you, if you love this floor plan or maybe you're interested in finding out more about precepts and seeing other floor plans, go to your local Jayco dealer. If you don't know where that is, go to jayco.com to dealer finder. They will tell you the closest motorized dealer to you. Now there will be a drop down, so you're gonna have to select the precept uh, series in particular, and it'll show you the closest dealer to you who stocks the precept on a regular basis. Uh, call them, ask them what they have in stock, go take a look at it. If you have questions, just drill the sales folks there with your questions. A lot of dealerships we go to multiple times a year to provide sales training, uh, but at the same time, be gracious towards them as well. If they don't know an answer or maybe you have too technical of a question for them, um, always call our factory. Feel free to do that. Uh, the receptionist will answer say, hey, I'd like to talk to somebody in sales. Let them know the state or province you're from, and they will connect you to our regional sales manager who's responsible for that territory. And they can tell you tank sizes, they can tell you widths, lengths, et cetera, any technical thing you have. So again, my name is Corey Weatherton, Director of Product Development here at Jayco Motorhomes. I want to thank you for watching this video and get to your local dealer and check out the new 2024 Precept.